Since leaving the forest, the lads have been introducing me to some traditional occasions, like Ascot. To see the horses. Yeah, Prince of Wales. Yeah. And the penguins. <laughs> a place where all the right gear is important. Like Hofmeister. Chilled to perfection, of course. Well, best bring your own lager. Looks like the local stuff makes your arms go funny. Yeah. Hofmeister. A great lager. Follow the bear. You know, I've never said this before, but the first time I saw you, that night in Three Ferrets, I thought you were the loveliest thing I'd ever seen. Well, we've been through a lot since then, but in all those years, there hasn't been a day gone by when I haven't thought of you and said to myself, Arkwright, you're a lucky man. Oh, Arkwright. Oh, hello, love. Didn't see you there. John Smith, for Incurable Romantics. If your motor's up the spout and you should be going out And the girlfriend's going frantic Never you mind, put it all behind Go and have a pint of magic Well it's one of those days, nothing's going your way And the match is a right disaster Just think ahead to a lovely drink instead A pint of magic's what you're after Smooth, dark and full-bodied with a really satisfying taste. John Smith's Magnet. It's a pint of magic. Never you mind, put it all behind Go and have a pint of magic Why aren't you seeing our drinking songs? Um, I've forgotten the words. Um, skull, 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 skull. Excuse me, Mr. Mylon, you might wake up there. Monsieur, je vais acheter ça, je vais aller, mais vous et Monsieur, monsieur. Oh, bien pour monsieur, s'il vous plaît. Il est toi. Et la monnaie. I'll tell you a true story. A guy in a bar turns to a girl and says, Mind if I sit here? She replies, Take a hike, Romeo. The barman shouts, Is there a Julie here yet? She says, I'm Juliet. Romeo smiles and says, you're Juliet, we're made for each other, can I buy you a drink? She says, give me something different. He says, barman, give me two Bacardi breezers. She tries it, she loves it, so does her boyfriend. So much for Shakespeare. I'm telling you, that's the way it happened. A spirit blend with fruit juices. Bacardi breezer. Why don't we do something together for once? I know, let's stay in this evening and have a quiet drink. Not a bad idea. We could have a few nice friends around. Yeah. Well, that's agreed. Right. Skull. Horribly good lager. <laughs> A daiquiri for the lady. What do people drink around here? Oh. Uh, perhaps I'll have a pint of Strongbow. <laughs> Strongbow. Strong. Straight. True. Original Irish cream, a purely personal pleasure. Soft, smooth, 
luxurious, this sensation of pure cream. By heck, you smell gorgeous tonight, pal. Pamper oh. yourself with Boddington's The Cream of Manchester. How do you drink Scarlet Bat, lady? No, he usually spills most of it. Your best bet for a fuller flavour. Scarlet Black Label! A glass of the unusual, sir? What is it? Enigma Draft Lager from Guinness. Very smooth. I have to go now. My giraffe is on fire. It's truth. Some barbecue this is. The throat's dry and the drain pipe in a drought. Not a drop of the golden neck oil to be found. Who's Barbie is it anyway, Axe? Some girl called Deb. Ah, Ripper. Looks like we've just struck liquid gold. Sorry, mate. Looks like I'll have to wash up and empty. But I'll wait till this bloke's changed the dirty water. Foster's. The Australian for lager. So, what do we know about this villain? He scaled this 50-foot wall disguised as a pork sausage. Did himself a terrible mischief at the top here. Painted himself from top to toe with invisible ink and vanished without trains. Well, let's see if we can build up a picture of our man. What, Kings? Any offers? Considering what he's done, Sarge, I, uh, I bet he drinks Carly Black Label. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a start, son, I suppose. It's a start. <laughs> If a bite you like gives you that bit more, you can bet it's Carling Black Label. Hello, darling, I'm home. Hello, Han. Had a hard day. Murder. Positively murder. You don't know what it's like. Marauding all day with those screaming hordes. You can't relax for a minute. Got just the thing for you. A nice glass of Harvey's Bristol Cream. Ah, how very civilised. Oh, Genghis rang. He's having a bit of a bash on Saturday night. Oh. oh. Harvey's Bristol Cream. A touch of refinement. Now it's time for another of those witty Heineken commercials. So if you want to nip out and make a cup of tea, now's your chance. Oh, hello, Pet. Haven't you even started yet? Yeah, but Pet, it's, it's all preparation, isn't it? Well, if it's not done by the time I get back from Mother's, there'll be big trouble. So you see, Heineken even refreshes the pets or the beers cannot reach. May I present myself and my mates? This is Jim and this is Joe, and we're off to say hello to Neanderthals down from Cardiff. They can't have had their tea, someone's eating my knee and using my head to practice with. If I manage to survive till half past five, can't wait to see my mate called Smith. John Smith's great new lager with that bit of Yorkshire bite. Beautiful. Well, I passed the ball to Jim. That's the last we'll see of him. Now my way is blocked by a wall called Bruce. It's hard to sell a dummy with a bloke around your tummy. Blow the whistle, rep. It's time for a truce full of brew just right with a bit of Yorkshire bite. Get yourself a mate called Smith.
now stories are told of a brave man of old whose interest was Whitbread Best Beer. But he knew a klutz who drove him nearly nuts. That was Abdul the Bulbul the Mir. Now that snake in the grass was a pain in the neck, claiming Whitbread tastes best from the jar. And this man most irate, with his own glass quite straight, was Count Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. Well, those boastful old goats went out canvassing boats, but one thing they both did forget. Be it straight glass or jar, Whitbread's not particular. Cause the best best needs no etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> Cut through with Foster's ice for a clean, crisp taste. It's the bright one, the right one. It's martini. There's much more to the world than you guess. And you'll taste it the day you say yes to the bright taste. These outtakes were brought to you by the greatest name in takeouts, Hoffmeister.